my channel. If you're new, I'm Jennifer. I'm a mummy of two. I post things all to do with mum life and this video is all about my nappy changing hacks. So most people know about the wee line. It's the strip on the front of the baby's nappy that turns blue when your baby is wet. But not everybody knows about the tab line. So these are little lines on the front of the nappy that your tab should fit perfectly into. If they don't, it could be an indication that you've got the wrong size nappy on. When you're trying to change a baby, their legs always seem to go really stiff. And a midwife told me a little tip. If you gently bend their toes round, this encourages them to bend their knees, helping you to get their legs into their baby grows. When you're changing a baby's nappy, this seems to be the perfect time for them to do another wee. So if you put a new nappy underneath the old one before you take it off, you've got something under there to catch those unexpected wees if they do one. Also, this is really handy for little boys because when they wee, you seem to get little fountains. You can quickly pull the nappy over and cover them up. When you've got the new nappy on, remember to pull out the little elastic tabs on the inside. This just helps to stop any leaks and keep everything in. Be prepared, have everything you need in one place before you start changing your baby. There is nothing worse than being mid-change and realizing that you need something. So I use one of these nappy caddy organizers that I got off of Amazon. It is brilliant for keeping everything I need for changing in one place and I can easily move it around the house with me as well. So in it I keep my nappies, creams, muslins and some spare baby clothes because there are some changes when you will need to change them fully. <laughs> In the event of a poo explosion, baby vests are actually designed with a wide opening neck. This is so you can roll the vest down over your baby's shoulders and you don't have to get a dirty vest over their head. When you're a new mum, you seem to talk about poos a lot. <laughs> Everyone wants to know how often they're going, what the colour of it is, what the consistency is. Like, Poos are a hot topic of conversation for new mums. <laughs> but with everything else you've got to remember, sometimes it's hard to keep track of all of this, but there is a really good app called Sprout and it allows you to log your baby's toilet moments. It's also really good for keeping track of sleep and for bottle feeds or breastfeeding. So it's a really handy app. So when that midwife or health visitor asks you all these questions, you can just look at your app and you know exactly when your baby has done everything. As your babies get older and they don't really want to have their nappy change anymore, it's handy to have a little toy ready to give them that they can play with during nappy changes. This will just help distract them long enough for you to get the job done. It's always good to use a barrier cream at each nappy change. This just helps protect your baby's sensitive skin from any irritations. It's especially a good time to do this at night when they are in their nappy for the longest. I don't know about you, but I always get the poppers of baby grows done up wrong. So a little tip is when you're changing your baby out of their baby grow, leave the leg parts done up and put them in the wash like this. So when they come out, all you have to do is slot your baby's legs in and you don't have to fuff around trying to do up all the fiddly poppers. Let's be honest, nappy changing is a smelly business, especially when your babies start weaning like poo -wee. A really good tip to help the smells of nappies is to get yourself a nappy bin. The Tommy Tippy bin is brilliant. I've used it for both my children. So you put your dirty nappy in the bin, you turn the cassette around once till it clicks. That's when you know it's sealed and that will help trap all the odours and it really does stop the smells coming out of the bin. I've always found it really handy to keep an emergency stash in the car. So I'll just keep a spare nappy, spare wipes and spare clothes. You never know when you might get caught out. Since having Olivia, I've also used this little travel changing bag. I've just found it so easy for changing on the go, especially when I want to travel light and I don't want to take loads of stuff with me. It's also handy if I go into like a changing area and I don't want to take my whole bag, I can just take this in with me. So it comes with compartments for your nappies, for your creams. It's also got a compartment for your wipes, which can be accessed from the outside, which is really handy when you need wipes quickly because we all know with mums, we're grabbing them wipes all the time. Um, and it's got a bit in changing mount which is really good because I know I've always got a clean service to lay Olivia down on. As babies get older and regular they will not want to sit still while you're changing them but a little tip is if you change them sideways and put your leg over them you can hold them in position just long enough to be able to change them. With a wriggly baby, I also found it was increasingly harder to do the tabs up on their nappy properly because they're just wriggling around all over the place. So as soon as I could, I actually changed to the pull-up pants and this was a game changer. It made nappy changing so much easier for me. And if I needed to, I could even change Olivia standing up. But sometimes, let's be honest, you just have to accept defeat and put them in the bath. <laughs> 
So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you've got any nappy changing hacks of your own, then other mums can check them out too. But thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!